Hello and welcome to another video of this Power BI Do It Yourself Tutorials. In this video, we're going to talk about how to create Arima forecasting using a custom visual. So before we begin, we are going to use the same PBIX file which we used in the previous Power BI and R visuals. And then I'm going to create a new page and add a slicer. So this is what we have been doing in the previous video. We created an Arima forecasting using a code, but I'm going to show you how to use a custom visual. We create a new page and on this, all I'm going to do is add item name as a slicer because we needed this slicer. Another way of adding this slicer is just copy paste from the previous one. So go back in here, control C on the keyboard and paste. You can do this copy paste also, but I am used to control C, control V. Alrighty, so I have the slicer. All I need is a custom visual. On the far right here, dot, 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 click on this and say import from store. Please note that you would need to create a Power BI ID, which is free if you have a corporate email ID on powerbi.com and then only you will be able to access any custom visuals. On the screen you would see a lot of custom visuals. I'm not going to go through each and every one of them but click on advanced analytics and then click on you can see forecasting with Arima and use this click on add button and you can see that the custom visual was successfully imported. This is the Arima forecasting visual. Click on this and you would see something coming up, a structure. Now let's see on the steps what we have been doing now. So from the visualization section, we clicked on this dot 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 and then click on import. Please note that Please note that you would need a Power BI account and then from advanced analytics section we clicked on add button for forecasting with Arima. The visual was there. An additional visual was there in the visualization section which you could see. Now let's see, let's see what we need to do next. Click on the visual you would see a date and a value here. So click on the sales date and make sure that the sales date is selected the same as what we have done in the previous one and then drag and drop amount in the value section and please note that it's going to take some time so please be patient here so click on the forecasting with arima visual then drag and drop the sales date in the date section of the visual which we have already done and also the amount in the value section which is done Please be patient that it, it may take a few minutes to load. So it takes some time. It took some time for me. On the top left here you will see that there is something going on here. It's still calculating and it's slower. So what we did in the previous one was very fast. Here this is the fast one but here it will take definitely some time. And there it is. If you click on ThinkPad and then again wait for it to refresh and it's very slow and that is why I would recommend use to use, use to use your custom code but in most of the cases if you're not aware of how to write a machine learning code and then this would be really helpful and if you see here that the visual is pretty much the same as what we had for the one which we created manually the Arima PDQ used here was 111 for hours Initially it used 201, yeah, 101. So, you know, it's kind of the same and Auto Arima would pick the best thing for you. Now let's do some hands-on exercises. So hands-on 57, you're gonna use F sales, which we have been using in the previous set of videos, and then use Arima time series forecasting the code which we did in the previous video and then the DIY 58 you're going to use F sales and use Arima 
for custom visual series. The same as what we have done here. If you want to find out more about our machine learning, the link for the YouTube videos are in the description section of the video below. Thank you for watching.